Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparityPair.com. In this video we'll be talking about odometer fraud and how to recognize it. This video will come in very handy if you're buying a used car. It may well save you from trouble, so stay tuned. DisparityPair.com be sure to visit us at our website DisparityPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Odometer fraud means returning the mileage reading or kilometer reading on the odometer to a certain lower value. Put simply, it's winding the clock back, returning the hands of time, I hope you get the idea. The odometer is protected from the manufacturer in certain ways from this since the odometer reading is a testimony of the actual condition of the car. Also, odometer fraud is justifiably forbidden and punishable by law in many countries. The most common reason for doing this is to try and increase the value of an older car or one that is in a bad condition. By finding a way to turn the clock back and in a combination with other methods, the car seems better and newer which means a much higher selling price. Another widely used term for this is odometer rollback. The first thing that you should do if you suspect an odometer fraud is to compare the overall condition of the car to the mileage. One main rule here that you should remember, more mileage in the majority of cases means worse condition. Exceptions are well maintained and preserved cars but this is really rare. For instance, if you see a car that has let's say 60,000 miles on the odometer or about 100,000 kilometers, which is still a car considered to be in prime condition, but that car looks like it's been thrown out of an airplane, that's a big red alert. For this low mileage, a few scratches, chips or some minor dents on the paint job are a normal sign of exploitation. In the interior, everything should look as good as new in the engine bay, there should only perhaps be a dusty film on the engine and engine cover. But if you see rust, a shabby interior and a greasy engine for instance on a 60,000 mile car, then something is very wrong. It could also be a seriously neglected car to be honest, but in both cases best stay away from it. Again, have one truth in mind. More wear and poor condition in 99% of cases means high mileage whatever the odometer reads. If you suspect odometer fraud, the next thing you can do is to take a quick peek around the gauge cluster. Check for any signs of manipulation like scratches, like from a screwdriver or trim tool for instance, chipped off or damaged plastic, unequal clearances in the seams where the gauge cluster fits into the dash and so on. On some cars, in order to make an odometer rollback, the gauge cluster has to be taken off. In these cases, it's almost impossible to take it out and return it without any scratches at least. Know that this is not the case in all cars, since the odometer rollback is often done digitally through the OBD port, especially in modern cars. Nevertheless, check it out and if you see any signs that the odometer has been removed, be careful. Yes, it could be due to some other kind of repair, but this is definitely a sign that you should be on alert. Using a website or app is one more immensely popular, convenient and easy way to check for odometer fraud. There are several great websites and apps that you can use for checking the mileage, maintenance record and other very useful data in a very short time. Just go to the website, type in the VIN and you'll get the much needed information. To do this, the key information you need is the VIN or vehicle identification number on your car. If you don't know what a VIN number is and how to decode it, we've made a video specifically on this topic. Click on the card in the corner to watch it. So you just type in the VIN and you get the needed information. Compare the mileage that you got from the website to the odometer reading. If there's a huge difference, don't buy the car. Yes, there is usually a fee to pay for the service, but it's pocket change compared to the loss you might suffer from an odometer fraud. If you suspect odometer fraud and have a good mechanic or dealership at hand, you can ask them to make a brief inspection of the whole car. This is also recommended if you're serious about actually buying the car. They can check the overall condition of the engine, undercarriage, 
perhaps the maintenance history and give you a very good evaluation if the condition of the car fits the mileage on the odometer. Another good place for checking a possible odometer fraud are your local institutions and companies that have access to quality worldwide databases for this kind of information. If you have this option readily available, it's certainly worth visiting them, especially if you're thinking about buying a used car and spending a hefty sum of money. The first three options we've shown you are the easiest ones, but are very effective and are done in a matter of minutes. In real life, it usually looks something like this. Take a look at the car, briefly inspect its overall condition and compare it to the mileage on the odometer. Once more, less miles in the majority of cases means better condition. Next, if you're suspicious, take a brief look around the gauge cluster for any sign of manipulation. Then read the VIN number and use a website or app to make a check. After this, if you want a more thorough check, take the car to a mechanic and Afterwards, check the car data with the mentioned institutions or companies. During all this, perhaps the most important thing to do is to stay aware, be careful, reasonable, think logically and pay attention to details. Otherwise, it's you who will be paying the price for an odometer fraud by buying a heap of junk which will probably cost you a fortune to repair. So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.